Hi, I'm Andrew Cook with Exaco Trading in Austin, Texas. And we are the importer and distributor of the Maxi Sandbox from Austria. Um, the first thing, we're going to show you today how to assemble this Maxi Sandbox. The first thing I recommend we do is we lay out everything in the box and just double check the parts list, which is on the fourth page of your assembly instructions and just make sure that you received everything you're supposed to have. Um, if the box is one piece, you will in all likelihood have everything you need. If UPS damaged the box, it might be possible that you're missing something. So then call us. There's an 800 number in here. You can call us for a spare part. Um, it is important to just go through the list. The, you have some nuts and bolts, screws, uh, dowels, wooden dowels lying over there. You have plastic parts. Just go down the list. Then there's wood for the framing, wood for the seat, a roof, triangle, roof uprights, some uh, cross supports, lateral supports on top of the roof, of course, the roof itself. This is the bar for the turning bar. And we need some tools. The tools we recommend you might want to have for this project are a drill or a Phillips head screwdriver, um, a 10 millimeter socket wrench or something like that, and a uh, pliers as well, maybe a rubber mallet sometimes. Uh, and I'm using a, some tape, measuring tape, to square the box. It makes it a little easier to put the seat on top of the box. So now let's start with the first part. The first step in the assembly process is to build the basic box. For that, we're going to use G, H, and I. G we can do first. These are the half boards with only two notches in them. Then we put on top of that, of those, the I boards. They have a hole in it. They just slide together. And we do the ones with a hole opposite each other. And then you put across one without the hole in it. Again, the ones with the holes. Across. This is how you build your square. And then you finish it off with two more of the half boards. All the slots together. Okay. Now you have your first grip. What we want to do at this point is, the next step we're going to do is put the uprights on it. What I'll do is put it in some of an angle, so it's easier maybe to see what we're doing. Once you have assembled your square box, it's time for the uprights. So the roof uprights, the roof vertical supports, have two holes on one side and a bigger hole a little bit from the top. That's for the tube. So what we do is we get two of the bolts. They're the shorter of the, you have four shorter and four little longer bolts. And you put those through the bottom. And um, this is where a rubber mallet can be handy. You just tap those through and make the head flush with the wood. And line them up with the holes and put them through, hammer them through. Excellent. Now we'll, so that we can show you what we do next, we go to the other side and we put the first couple of washers on each of the bolts and then we use the little cap nuts and we tighten the cap nuts. I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter socket wrench to do that. Make them nice and snug. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to do those in both ends. Um, after doing the uprights, the next step uh, can, is the forming the square with the seats, um, the the top basically. First, we put some dowels in all the holes at the end, and um, again, these are very tight. And yet the factory does supply you a little tube with glue, wood glue, if you want to use that. Um, but as you will see, they're tight enough that I have to use a rubber mallet to even hammer them in. So, it's up to you if you want to use the glue. As you all have noticed, the paint on all of these is not necessarily the same, uh, evenly finished, because it is all a water-based, uh, environmentally safe uh, paint, purposely done to meet up with European environmental rules and regulations. Okay, now we line up the, uh, the brown part with the notch cut out, which goes around the upright, and the red part, and we hammer these carefully together. Um, whatever way you're most comfortable doing that. This is a way to do that. Make it pretty square. Now what you have to watch for is that you do put the side with the holes in it, with the screw holes to put on top of it, of the um, wall, of your box, but you have those on the inside and not on the outside. Okay, then we turn the whole thing over and we can set the other board on top of it. And the other side, you see. Okay, now it is time to lay this over the frame. You can use the tape measure to square the box by making both diagonals, diagonals of the box exactly the same length. Um, but you also can do this, eye it, just making sure that everything looks square and that might be the most important but just to show you we can do also do this by using on there see this is now 60 inches so you want to make sure that these two diagonals become the same length and this one is a little 16 and a half so I need to move them around slightly, push them around to see if I can make it a blood more equal. It's not. <coughs> yeah, now they are about the same 60 and a half inches as it looks like. At this point you use all the, um, what are these, one and three quarter inch screws and you carefully align making sure that these are screwed in seat boards on top of the wall that you, the box walls that you just built before. And you go all the way around and you do this.